Reggie. 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 Give it a thumbs up, bruh. Give it a thumbs up. Like, 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 like. All right. We have some dope news items for this video. The first one, the Reginator. He has put his two cents into the future of gaming. He was recently interviewed after the Game Awards, and he spoke on cloud streaming and where he sees gaming going this is what he says and i quote as the technology evolves to be cloud and as download speeds increase what it means is you're going to be able to play any game on any device at any time he said it will happen over the next decade and be something that's really meaningful for players he pretty much said Cloud gaming is where we are going. I have to agree. I know a lot of dudes don't want to hear it. No, we need our consoles. But <laughs> as technology increases, I don't think we're there yet. Some dudes might have it, some dudes. I have a thousand up, a thousand down. So I'll be good to go for um, cloud uh, for streaming games. But I think it needs to be across the board, everywhere, even in the most rural, outskill places that dudes will be able to just turn on whatever device they have and play. I think it's eventually going to happen. Just think about it. Ten years ago, everybody had DVDs. Now, dudes just turn on your... T now, I just turn on... I don't even need another a, a big box or anything. I just... I don't need a device, period, with smart TVs. You just turn on the TV and whatever apps and services it has, you click on it. That's all we do. Turn on Disney Plus. That's what it's going to be soon. Where do just turn on their TV, um, turn on xCloud, Stadia, or whatever the stream. It's probably not even going to be different streaming services. I think it's just going to be game studios and whatever the game studios offer to the gamers. Eventually, we're going to get to that point. Everything is converging. Crossplay is happening. I mean, I think we're still going to have individual services. But whatever service you choose, I think it's going to go the way of the cloud eventually. Eventually, Are we there yet? I don't think so. But Reggie has a point. Bro. When the Reginator speaks, you better listen. I know it's going to be hard for collectors. I know it's going to be hard for dudes that like to own physical stuff. But these the same dudes that got Disney Plus and watching Baby Yoda. I'm just saying, bro. All right. And so Reggie has said that game streaming is where we're going. And I think we're slowly going there. Year over year, less and less people are buying physical media. More and more people are buying digital, downloading their games digitally. It's just going to all end up going to the cloud. And here's my thing. They just re reveal the Xbox Series X console looks dope, buying it day one. But at the end of the day, you really don't want to spend $500 just to play your favorite games. You really just want to play your games. And so one of the benefits, a big benefit of game streaming is cost. Manufacturing costs for Microsoft, Nintendo, Sony, they don't have to worry about that. <coughs> and for gamers, we don't have to worry about um, the upfront cost to play games, that big box, before we could actually play our game. So, xCloud, and this cool thing about xCloud, of the game streaming services right now, I'm probably going to be using xCloud because I already have Game Pass Ultimate, and xCloud is going to be included in it, so it's a no-brainer. I don't even have to pay anything to stream my games. Well, I'm still paying my monthly subscription, but it's included. And so I think that's the direction where we're going, where you can just play your games anywhere, bro. You start playing your games on your TV at home, 
you pick up your phone on the subway, whatever, and you just continue playing. That's where we're going. All right, next news item, bro. The Fortnite Star Wars event was lit, bro. I've seen mixed uh, feedback on the internet. I thought it was dope, bro. At first, it was starting off lame. They were doing too much talking. Jeff Keighley, Abraham, JJ Abraham, all that stuff. And then, bro, they chose us to pick our lightsaber colors. I was like, okay, maybe they're going to have lightsabers as a limited time of event or item later on. Bro, when we got to our treasure chest and started having the lightsaber battles, I thought that was lit, man. I'm a biased Star Wars fan, Obi-Wan. But I thought it was dope. Um, and so Fortnite and the event, there is a limited time event still going on where you can use lightsabers in the game. I will be on Fortnite tonight with the sponsors. With the sponsors, we will be playing Fortnite. I game on my YouTube gaming channel, Obi-Wan Plays Gaming Championships, Twitch, Obi-Wan Plays, Twitter, Obi-Wan Plays, and Mixer, Obi-Wan Plays. I stream on all four platforms at the same time. We'll be gaming with the sponsors. Become a sponsor, bro. Link's in the description. All right. Next news item, bro. I thought this was pretty cool. Nintendo just dropped behind-the-scenes images of Breath of the Wild 2. And one image that stood out to me is Link holding his hand up like a green light, an aura coming from his hand. So many theories that I wouldn't have anything to know, know anything about. But I think that's cool. Nintendo shares some behind the scenes um, images of, of the making, the development of Breath of the Wild 2. Because this green light was very present in the trailer. And we see it right here shining from Link's hand. I don't, I don't know if that has anything to do with the Triforce of Courage uh, or whatever his own is. I think his own is Courage. Um, but it's interesting to see. I just thought it was cool. Nintendo showed some um, art footage of um, Zelda behind the scenes. All right. Next news item, bro. Now, a lot of people are saying Nintendo didn't really show up at the Game Awards. And I have to say, yeah. They really didn't. The no more the no more heroes trailer. I thought it was just weird, bro. Let me. I didn't even pull it up for this video. I'm not even gonna pull it up. But it just looked weird, bro. It was like a brain talking. And they showed like a one second clip of Travis. I wasn't hyped for it. I never played a no more heroes game. I'm still not sold on the series. And that trailer did not help. But one game that is lit. Bravely Default 2. Dope. Dope, dope RPG by Square Enix. Love this game on my 3DS. The battle system, just a unique battle system. And the art style is clean. All, they, all we got was the shot of the four protagonists. But you could tell that there is a graphical improvement. Uh, the game will be a Switch exclusive. And it looks dope. The game does look good. And so they did show up slightly with Bravely. Um, default and the last news item the game of the year did not go to Death Stranding <laughs> thank you Jeff Keighley you saved yourself from a lot of ridicule now Death Stranding did win I think like three awards but if they would have won game of the year I would have been like man it's rigged bro and so the winner was Sekiro Shadows Die Twice haven't played this game but everything I've seen about this game it looks looks dope and so it actually won game of the year this year deserving deserving it looks cool all right dudes those are all of the news items that i have for this video what do you guys think about reggie saying cloud gaming is the future everything that was discussed in this video sound off in the comment section below i want to know but before you go bro click that subscribe button stay up to date all things gaming bro we out boy <laughs>